Today is one of those days. Um, it's not a very good day. Um, the is crying. It's now 1.20 in the afternoon. He had a nap. Um, he usually has a long nap after he wakes up. He's seven months now. After he wakes up, he will spend a bit of time up. Then um, I will put him back to sleep and he will have like three hours sleep. Today he had like maybe an hour of sleep. Um, I gave him something to eat. He's, we started having solids. Um, but he's been fussy because he he touched something he shouldn't touch and now his hand is in pain and um, I feel like a horrible mom that's just how it is sometimes um, you foresee that something bad is gonna happen but then it's like I let it, I allow it to happen when I shouldn't, I should have been better um, so yeah, I put him to bed um, he's not asleep he's, still crying and fussing and he's not really drinking his milk i've changed his nappy um hopefully he will settle down a little bit um, the i know i i, I take on so much like i go uni i've got kids i'm gonna go I'm gonna go back to work in May, which I'm not looking forward to it because I'm just stressing how I'm gonna um, balance everything and how I'm gonna manage. Um, I know it's taken a lot, but it's you know it's for the long run. I want something better, you know, for my kids and my future, their future as well. Um, so this is why I'm doing this sacrifice right now um it's a lot it's a lot iris she's at an age that um about two were horrible every <laughs> every year i feel that it's getting worse um she throws tantrums she's been challenging um the last week and a half i'm not getting good sleep she keeps waking up in the middle of the night and she wants me or my husband to sleep with her so she can't fall asleep or she won't go back to sleep the other day i slept in the bed with her hoping that she would fall asleep she didn't even fall asleep up until two hours after where my husband came and she had to tell her you're going to bed that's it i don't have that power to just tell her do this and she will do it she's always playing up with me i wouldn't say playing up she just i don't know because i spent so many hours with her maybe she's pushing my boundaries more but when my husband is there it's different she will listen and it's very challenging to me at the moment um when he's not here he's still crying let me okay i'm gonna go film this video after i get him to settle down and then uh we can go a bit we can do a bit of cleaning tidying up tidying up nothing too major these days i just feel like i, I can't deep clean i can't do something too you know i can't go in it too deeply i'm trying to do my essay i'm trying I've got just so many things on my plate right now. You think you got your shit together until you become a mom and uh, everything comes out, all your internal issues, trying to regulate a toddler's emotions while trying to regulate your own because it's upsetting when you have those tantrums, when they have these you know explosions of emotions saying you're trying to help them control it or tell them something they don't listen and you get frustrated and you're trying to regulate your own emotions motherhood parenthood is something else um you are learning yourself even more and you are striving to become a better person for them because you realize oh i don't want to be this person why am i acting like this um 
why am I acting like this with my kids? Why am I having oh. this outburst uh. when my baby's upset? When this, <gasps> when that. So, um, so yeah. Okay, so be messy here. Yeah, I'll just film it. Just finished filming a video. My daughter loves Magic Dragons. This period. I'm Iris, not too close, okay? She loves she loves this song and the band. She loves it. So yeah, of course some folding to do, some laundry to put there, some washing up to do and tied up. Maybe just a little bit That's it. so yeah things are a bit calmer now the baby's asleep um so yeah i'm just trying to tie it up and um i'm gonna make the place a bit tidy finish with kind of housework today because tomorrow i want to study i want to you know move on with my essay um yes i need to tie it up uh then i'm gonna do some exercise then cook and all that so yeah let's let's come come with me let's you know let's spend our day together I forgot to mention that the glow mode, uh, they come in these lovely bags, um, which they feel premium, you know. Um, when you open it, it comes out like that, you know, you got a bit, they call the, it's also a sticker, nicely, you know, packaged, you know. Sometimes uh, these high fashion brands, they just, you know, dump things in the bag. But they come nicely like that, you know? So, so yeah. Feels good. Like blending of these two styles of vocalisms and um even when he is singing sometimes he'll have a, a few words in a phrase that he'll spit out really quickly and it's like oh that's that's part of his skill set that's part of his toolkit as an artist from the back of my head like from the back of my head from the back of my head i'm back from the dead from the back of my head been gonna face and home as should never be saved the rap and the grit more atmospheric sense right here you, you have the elements of a song that are really clear and that stick out and then you've got the kind of atmosphere elements that just kind of add to uh, <sighs> yeah, so I don't know if you can't see it but there's some sweat situation happening here I don't mean to get close to my well, I've managed to do another workout, um, you know, so that's important for me to have that every day. Um, I feel like this is, this is the one thing that, um, you know, I do for myself, for my well-being, mental, physical, because when you're a mom, 
he always kind of makes sure that everybody else is okay um apart from you like you you need to remind yourself to also look after yourself because if you don't look after yourself you are not able to look after others this is basic like um this basic law of life you know um and it's true um otherwise you feel too frustrated you feel too upset that you don't do something for yourself you are resentful and then it reflects on everyone around you and um yeah and then you're not able to give as much love as much attention as much care as you have to um, well 10 minutes before eight i still need to you know fold all this lovely um load of clothes i don't do iron i don't remember the last time i iron anything unless something is very wrinkly that's when i iron but ain't nobody got time for that sorry because you know sometimes you just wear something once and then it, it ends up in the laundry basket again so what is the point why would i waste so much time of my life to do iron like like why you know i just um yeah anyway i'm gonna go have a shower and um try and get these kids to bed which is another effort this last i don't know i mean the little one he's fine um it's just iris i don't know if he's just maybe wanting that extra attention she thinks well the baby wakes up in the night why wouldn't i you know but he, once he wakes up and once i give him the milk he goes back to sleep you know but iris she she will have trouble like falling asleep if someone doesn't sleep with her even if someone tries to sleep next to her the other day she wouldn't she would not fall asleep and the next day i was um, yeah, i was not in the right head space so just today if you can when you can if you know one mom just pop a question like just text her send her a text how are you mama how are you coping with the kids do you need anything because um for us moms as well i hate the light um for us moms as well it's so hard to ask for help we we don't ask for help we don't want to feel like a burden to others so uh, we only ask for help if it's there if it's a necessity um but if it's for like you know okay have the kids so i can just go to the gym or so i can have some me time for a bit we don't do that we think it's selfish we don't do that but it's important to do that because as i said a happy mom a happy home is is true a happy wife a happy home is true so yeah if you're not someone a mom even a single dad maybe a dad that is mostly with the kids even dads get a lot of the you know they get especially responsible dads they get a lot of the burden too so ask the parents around you parents that you know how are you dealing today how are you doing do you need any help you know um yeah just do that it's it's just nice for moms for parents to know that oh actually they give a shit about me you know i'm not just in isolation because that's how i feel sometimes you feel so isolated it's just how it is so yeah i'm just gonna end this vlog today let's see again mm, i can't really see much but but yeah it was a short workout i was a bit slow today the kids were in the way as well um so i couldn't do as fast as i wanted the exercises were not as hard to be honest um as well 
they are challenging but it wasn't as challenging as i was expecting it but yeah anyway um just gonna have a shower get the kids to bed try and rest for the night well i still have this um load of clothes to fold and some dishes to wash so so yeah i'll see you in the next one bye bye